Hello. Welcome back to Monkey Island. Let's have a diving contest. I'm back. So I see. What can I do for you, Mr. Threepwood? I'd like to dive against you again. Again? Are you some sort <laughs> of masochist? <laughs> I don't know. You some kind of chicken? <laughs> no, fine. Just remember you asked for this humiliation. Marco DePoyo is about to attempt a rum barrel. Spinning swordsman Alpha Monkey. Okay. Let's give Down, right, left. Down, right, left. Uh, right, uh, keeping it out. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My. Okay, down, right, left. I think I did it right. We'll see. Cool. Good. Looking good. Woo! Well done, young one. By tying the polio, you've earned the right to face him in another tiebreaker round. Woot woot! I do not envy you the pummeling you are about to receive. Nevertheless, the plank is yours. Okay. So, see how this goes. <laughs> cool. Good. Looking good. Very good, Mr. Threepwood. Just give me a second to prepare for my dive. <laughs> Hello, Cole. Nobody is coming. Marco doesn't know is that we've replaced his regular baby seal oil with Star Buccaneer Schmearwiz. <laughs> Nobody is commenting uh, the down ha hat. Prepare to watch a master in action. Now Marco de Pollo will attempt to beat Guy Brush three points. You do got the point Let's ahead. Give him complete silence for this dive. What? Shoot! <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, the new all-world plank diving champion is uh, Guy Brush Threepwood. Christ, that was not a fair dive. I want a rematch right now. I am Marco De Pollo, the greatest plank diver in the world. Marco. Oh, oh. <laughs> Who said that? Marco. Oh, oh. Stop it! I will not be mocked. <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Gee, I wonder how Elaine's doing. Ah. Oh. Thanks for coming out to vote. Remember, a vote for me is a vote against Demon Spawn Hell Pirates. Thanks for your support, citizen. Good times and free grog are just around the corner. Don't vote for Charles. He's really LeChuck, the demon zombie ghost pirate from hell. Oh, give it up, Mrs. Threepwood. Everybody knows that LeChuck is dead and that your husband killed him. You'll have to excuse her, Mr. Charles. Think nothing of it, my good man. Ah, ah, there, there you see? Charles is a Look! <laughs> well, that should just about wrap things up. I think I'll go pack my bags and get ready to move into the governor's mansion. <laughs> hmm. Ah! We got the diving trophy. 
Hi guys. Oh. Whatever. Thanks for the trophy. It was our honor, Katabira. I'm off. Aloha. See you, dude. <laughs> I, should, I just wanted to say thank you. <laughs> Woo. Um. Yeah, let's head over to nothing at all. I know that's the last piece is. I just need Taxi to talk over to someone. Planet Threepwood. See souvenirs of Guybrush Threepwood. Let's talk to Murray Hi, first. Murray. Welcome to Planet Threepwood, the evil steam restaurant on Earth. <laughs> Knock it off, Murray. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to be a part of the ultimate insult? Absolutely not. I may be evil, but I'm not crazy. Nah. I I've was hoping he had seen a pirate theme pun and evil. <laughs> I hope he knew who stole the hat, the bronze hat. Apparently not. <laughs> Right, and of course, this guy is not at any uh, any help at all. Uh, who can we talk to? Except the lady of uh, at the school. Can I talk to anyone else here? There is uh, that. All the pirates. Ah, uh, guess we have to head to the beach. Hello. I'm out of here. Hmm. John Burke's Luffy. I'm back. Imagine my delight. Uh, I'd like to talk some more about your father. Okay. Was he really called Tiny the Friendly Pirate? No! My daddy was everything a real pirate should be. Violent, vulgar, psychotic. Pirates lined up for miles to spit on his grave. <laughs> <laughs> if Tiny was such a great pirate, then what's with the Tiny the Friendly Pirate statue? It's those soulless cretins at Ozymandrel Enterprises. They're using my father's name and image as happy icons for their new family-friendly Jambalaya Island. Those jerks. Hmm. What happened to Tiny's statue? I happened to it. Come again? To lend a touch of authenticity to their precious statue, Mandrel's flunkies bronzed my father's captain's hat and welded it to the statue. Enraged by this sacrilege, I gathered some pirates and raided Jambalaya Island. Before anyone knew what happened, I rescued my father's chapeau, returned to nothing at all, and buried my treasure. Your father would have been proud of your piratey prowess. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but fortunately, my raid inspired Mandrill to hire Kasaba to patrol the waters of Nutton. Now, Nutton Atoll is nothing more than a prison for recalcitrant pirates who don't share Ozzy Mandrill's vision. Ah. Uh. One pirate to another. Where did you bury your father's bronze hat? I don't know. What? I know I buried it under a boulder along the beach. I just don't know which one. Ah. If I find your father's hat, can I borrow it? I don't know. Why do you want it? I'm going to use it to crush Ozymandrel like a bug. Really? Oh, that's great! <laughs> if you can find it, feel free to use it. One pirate to another. Where did oh, you bury yeah, your I, was... hat? I don't know. What? I know I buried it mm. under a boulder along the beach. I just don't know which one. Uh, this is obviously a painful subject. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Don't get up. I'll see myself out. Goodbye, little pirate. Hmm. Oh, and buttons again. Let's head out and find... Hmm. So let's got uh, 
Okay. What's my name? That must have been the lying parrot. Okay. So we know that the uh, coffee, uh, energetic, shaky. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? South. Okay, so let's head south. They don't always... That's why they didn't move over. Okay, on the right. Which way should I go to find Tiny's hat? West! Hmm. That is interesting. Makes me think this is the right. <laughs> on the left. Is Tiny Lafitte's hat buried under this rock? Ah, yes. Hmm, I know that that parrot always tells the truth, so Tiny Lafitte's hat must be buried under this rock. Alrighty then. Uh, your parrot. This parrot's lost interest. Uh, yeah. What we need to use is these ones. Hi there, little Guybrush. <laughs> Hi there, little Guybrush. Hi there, little Guybrush. What's on your mind, little Guybrush? I think Admiral Kassab is a big dope. Don't you? Well, I don't know, little Guybrush. What do you think, little Chuck? I think little Guybrush wouldn't know a real pirate if I stabbed <laughs> him in the liver. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Now, boys. A moral love. A deep doily sniffer. <laughs> what are you say about? Guys. Pirate poser. <laughs> Corpse. Curly man. I really think that's loud enough to catch Kasaba's attention. Jerk. Idiot. Nimrod. Dork. Uh, I've obviously got some deep-seated <laughs> issues to work out here. Moron. Spaz. <laughs> Jerk. Idiot. Nimrod. Dork. Why, those, those ignorant anarchist savages! <laughs> How dare they plot against my benevolent tyranny! Sinkins, <laughs> wheel out the red big cannon! Do we have to, sir? Our ears are still ringing <laughs> from the last time. I've had just about enough of your pusillanimous insubordination, Simpkins. Now roll out the red oh. big cannon and blow up those terrorists this instant. Aye, aye, sir. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> wow, here it is. The bronze hat of Tiny Lafitte. Mr. Cheese. Aye, Captain. Raise the anchor, hoist the sails, and ready the warp drive. Aye, Captain. Otis. What? Go find Carla and sober her up. Oh, yeah, that'll be easy. <laughs> now that the pieces of the ultimate insult are mine, it's back to Melee Island. Woo! <laughs> uh, there's a couple of food. I'm home. <laughs> LeChuck. That's Governor LeChuck to you, Seat Good. No way. Yes, why? Ozzy, 
I had a feeling you were working for LeChuck. I'm afraid you got it backwards, pirate boy. LeChuck's working for me. Well, that makes me feel better. <laughs> LeChuck, would you be kind enough to relieve Mr. Threepwood of the pieces to the ultimate insult? Ah, it'd be a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. Don't do it, LeChuck. He wants to use the ultimate insult to humiliate every pirate on the face of the earth. And? You know? Oh, of course he knows, you sloth-brained pile of kookaburra droppings. <laughs> Why, LeChuck? Why would a swashbuckling, albeit demonically evil, pirate like yourself willingly aid in the mass emasculation of your fellow buccaneers? Well, that's a long story, sheep good. Oh, no. But it basically boils down to two reasons. First of all, this mandrill scallywag pulled me out from under that mountain of ice that you left me under. And LeChuck always repays his debts. Fine, you owe the guy, but why go along with this plan to irreversibly insult all the pirates? Because, you seafaring scum weasel, when we succeed in breaking the fighting spirit of all the pirates, LeChuck will finally have the one thing he's always wanted in life. Or death, as the case may be. <laughs> you don't mean... Yes, Elaine Marley's hand in marriage. Um, excuse me, see the ring on this finger? You're a little late, bucko. Well, I think I can fix that. LeChuck, no! We may need him as a hostage. Mm. Uh, yeah, <laughs> a hostage. Besides, even if you kill me, Elaine still never marry you. She hates your stinking undead guts. Ah, but that's the beauty of the ultimate insult, Threepwood. Once your wife has been exposed to its hideous, demoralizing power, her fiery pirate spirit will be shattered like so many emu eggs, leaving her compliant, submissive, and obedient. <laughs> In other words, the perfect wife. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of perfect wives, where is Elaine? We were hoping you could answer that question, Mr. Threepwood. Your mischievous Sheila went walkabout right after Captain LeChuck was elected governor of this pirate-infested backwater of an island. Good for her. I hope she comes back with an army of pirates and kicks your sorry butts. Are you sure I can't kill him yet? I've left him alive before, and it's always turned out to be a big mistake. <laughs> I see your point. Hmm. How about we stow the twerp in an inescapable faraway place where he can't do any harm? Oh. Then he'll still be a useful hostage, but he won't be able to affect our plans. I think I remember ah, which place it is. That's a good idea, and I know just the place. <laughs> Escape from Monkey Island, which is exactly where we are now. Where am I? This island smells kind of familiar. Ugh. Only one island smells as bad as... Oh no! Those two maladjusted greed monsters left me marooned on Monkey Island! Well, that's it. I give up. I'll never overcome these incessant obstacles. Where did that like music come life from? It's a never-ending series of, of... puzzles. Oh, hey, Timmy. <laughs> Don't try to cheer me up. Just give up. No, I am. Well, I guess that's the end of the uh, series. Okay. Uh, so, uh, all right, I'll do it for the kids. First order of business: get off this okay. stupid island. Second order of business: stop Ozzy and LeChuck from using the ultimate insult on Elaine and assorted others. Third order of business: buy some new shoes. <laughs> Good thinking. How did he get here anyway? Hmm. Okay. Hey, it's Timmy the Monkey! How are you, boy? How'd he get here, anyway? I don't think he'd like that. Timmy want a banana? I guess so. Okay, he want a banana. Uh, hmm. I'm going to end the episode there. Uh, welcome back to Monkey Island. No, I mean, uh, bye!